So hello everybody and welcome to another Dax Fridays. In this video I'm going to show you how you can do search, partial search, with multiple values. And then I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Let's get started. Okay, so this is our data set. It's a very simple column with the values that you saw. The first thing that we need to do is to get a table with the unique values. Okay, and to do that, I'm going to show you if you would have more columns. Right now we just have one, but in the case that you have more columns, which you probably will, I like to do it this way. You create a blank query and then you put the name of the table, double square bracket, and then you put the name of the column. And that will create the table for you. A copy from the original table. This is going to be a slicer. This way, if you get new values in there, the new table will get generated, right? Okay. So next split column is split column by delimiter. There is a comma space, so I'm going to leave it as comma, but I need to add the space in here, otherwise we're going to run into trouble. So get the two one, the two columns, and then unpeel columns, then remove the columns, and then remove duplicate. So now we have the unique values for our slicer. We do home, close and apply. And now we are not going to have relationship between the tables, the, between the fact table and the slicer table. In case you would have a column that contains similar values, make sure that it doesn't get related, okay? They have to be disconnected. Good. So how do we do a search? I'm going to show you the DAX way and then I'm going to show you the custom visual way. But because I know that a lot of companies don't a lot of custom visuals, this is the DAX way. Okay, right. So we're going to first create the slicer. This is going to be a slicer, my dear. Okay, so now obviously when I click on this, nothing happens because they are disconnected. There is no relationship to be able to filter the tables. So we're going to create a measure that tells us if something selected here matches whatever is being selected in there. So we're going to use, you have two options. Well, you have more than one. You have search, you have find, and then you have con contained string. Search and find are similar, but search is case sensitive while find is case insensitive. And because we are picking values from a list, there's no need to have the sensitivity in here. So find is probably going to be faster. So that's the one that we're going to use. So we're going to have a new measure, slicer, filter, or something like that. And make sure that you document your things properly. I never do it here, but I always do it in real life. So these filters the list of fruits, for example. And then we're going to use find because it's case insensitive. And it says, what text do you want to find? So I want to find whatever it comes from here. So selected value. And I'm going to have whatever is picked from the slicer. This is going to pick only one value, but we will fix it so it picks more. Next is where do you want me to do the search? And I want to do the search on this column. So this is going to be the selected value for fruit group. And then starting position one, if you don't find a match zero, and I'm going to leave it like that for now, and I'm going to put it in here so you see what it does. So as you can see, bananas, it finds a bananas here, so it gives a one melons it finds melons in here and there and you're probably surprised by that but that 10 why 10 well it's not giving you this is a match it's giving you the position where it found the match again go and check the video so you'll find it not useful here but useful elsewhere okay so it says oh i have these two matches and then if i pick two it breaks well here's the thing we have selected value. So selected value allows for one value. It's like Sinter Sugar for has one value. So if we're picking more values, our tax breaks. So how do we fix it? Well, we're going to get rid of these because we want to have more than one value. We're going to do a filter of our slicer table where this find is bigger than zero. 
So as you can see, it's kind of working, but not really. Let me show you. If I get rid of the selection, suddenly we get an error. And if you look at the error, it says like, oh, a table of multiple values will return. What does it mean? Well, it means that when we were, had melons and onions, there was just one value to be returned for each row. But now that we don't have anything, there's going to be multiple values for the same row. And that is not allowed because filter retains a table. And this is expecting a number or a, what, a single value. So how do we fix that? We wrap all of these into count rows. And you'll see what happens now. You can see, you can also see now where you got more than one value, right? So now if I pick melons and bananas that I know I have multiple values, it will give me the right answer. So the last thing that you need to do is to put the, you see the slicer filter here said that is bigger than zero. And then you can get rid of it in here. So now you can see that I have all the values. I have onions, I have melons, I have bananas. Right? So very cool. Okay. So what is the second method? The second method goes like this, actually quite simple. You go to get more visuals. You go here to text. You get the text filter. This is a Microsoft visual, so you should be able to get it. Um, do you already have your data? So like, who cares? So I'm going to clean these and I'm going to now put the group, you know, from our fact table, put it in there. I'm going to grab the new visual, the text filter. And then I'm going to, you don't use this slicer, it's connected table anymore. You can re get rid of it. And then you can do put. So it's case insensitive. You can search for partial words. You get it, right? So it's obviously a lot better to use this custom visual if you're allowed to use it. Otherwise, you know now how to do it in text. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye.